clean that now. And to delete the whole list, you can just say delete Dell my list, and then my list no longer exists. Okay. Let's recreate the list just because it's useful. Um, and now the next thing is assigning to slices. Well, the last thing is assigning to slices. Uh, now we looked at assigning to a, s a certain index, but um, there's something slightly special about assigning to slices. <coughs> Sorry. First, let's look at um, just basically assigning to slices. So if I say my list, um, let's reassign five, six, and seven. So five would be the uh, index four. So four through to seven. Uh, is equal to uh, instead of four f or five, six, and seven. Sorry, we'll have uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. Now, if I look at my list, it's one, two, three, four, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, now, the special thing about assigning to slices is that it actually allows you to extend the list. So let me demonstrate. If I assign to, um, excuse me, hmm, let's see, if I assign to the last, second to last element uh, to the end, to the end, yeah, okay, is equal to, and I put in more elements than just two, because at the moment I'm saying from minus one, which is here, to the end, so there's two elements, so I'll put in 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If I run that, now check my list. Okay, you can see, oh, actually, whoops, okay, let's, uh, we've got two 9s in here by accident, um, s but you can see here it has extended the list, but let's go ahead and delete one of those 9s. Remember how we delete? del and then an index or a slice. In this case we just want to delete one element. Uh, that could be 9. Then let's look at my list now. Only one 9. Okay, cool. Uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Um, next tutorial we're going to look at some list methods.